Hello GTI fans, this is Elot coming at you live from the Geek Tech Industries Empyrean Galactic Survival Server. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, last episode you guys saw me build another CV and um, basically just transfer a bunch of stuff and really, you know, kind of boring. Should have been like a half episode. You know, okay, okay we'll, call, we'll call it uh, um, moving, the moving episode. Anyway, this CV here, the, the secondary CV, I have painted it up and um, you'll notice that we're not on that ice planet anymore. So Stickus and I, Stickus grabbed the old one as you can see there he did some mods to it we actually did mods to both of them now we added some um, thrusters in extra areas uh, to make them a little bit more nimble uh, he's added a bunch of pot lights I haven't done that to mine yet um, that will be coming though but I did paint mine up sort of in the uh, GTI color scheme um, so it looks a little bit better painted right so we added some thrusters in larger thrusters in the front you can see um, and that makes them definitely stop a lot better so this episode we oh and we also you notice we're uh, not actually in orbit where we used to be. There are multiple planets around us in this sector. Yeah, we decided to leave um, whatever the, the trading, the trader start planet, trader, trader with a D start planet and uh we decided to check out the map a little bit we after having i i mined up a whole bunch of pentaxids so we had a bunch to warp both ships and you can see here where we are is over here in the hidden sanctuary um and it has four worlds in it, which are all PVE with breathable content. All of them have water of some sort or another. So we wanted to come check it out to see if it's viable for uh, live, building a base in and whatnot. And, uh, you know, even the... Even the space around it is um, PVE. Um, so we're right now in the orbit of, in in the hidden sanctuary s sector anyway. We're And we're orbiting, we're really close to a planet called Dirt. We wanted to go check it out. It's a desert planet, uh, but it's got breathable content. Uh, PVE doesn't look to be have any deposits or meteorites, but it does have random meteorites of pretty much everything that we need. By the look of it, promethium, magnesium, iron, cobalt, copper, silicone. Okay. So, uh, I was wanting to go check out maybe all four planets. Um, don't know if I'll take the CV with me. I might just take the clap trap because it's all in the same sector. I, I don't have to warp anywhere. Uh, and it's faster, more efficient on fuel. Yeah, I think we should take the, uh, the little SV. So let's get back out of here. And make sure we got what we need. Oh, you know, apparently I'm about to starve to death. Oh yeah, I gotta put the cargo back box back in really quick here. Uh, even though I don't have a drill, but hopefully that'll be coming. 
Um, getting close to level 19 at least, so it's not out of the question. So let's slot this back in. Can I tip it? Can I actually fit it in? No. Can I get up there? How did I have this before? I thought it was up one. Can I get it up one? It looks like it. Mm. No, I don't think I can fit it there. So what if I go like this? Just slot it up. Can I get it up there? Yeah. Okay, good enough. We'll paint that up. Put the green on that. Okay. So that'll be the future container for the drill to, to soon go on it. So I painted up the ship a bit. Um, yeah, just I couldn't get into all that. I didn't want to pop everything out and, you know, it's just so it wasn't completely, completely an eyesore anymore. A little bit of dash of color. Let's get some food. Going to the fridge. Uh, canned meat. Well, let's take half of the salami. I'm going to have to go shoot a bunch of stuff, I think. Uh, might need to go put down the oxygen water generator on something, too. So I got that with me. I've got a... Oh, i got to refuel the... That's right. Okay, so I took out the fuel tanks of this thing, some of them anyway, to paint it up and reposition them to get them painted properly. So let's re redo the fuel in this. Now, I want to use up all my... So instead of just going in and hitting fill, I'm going to hit my manage and I'm going to plunk in the small ones. Back in, there we go. Okay. So that gives me enough fuel, plenty of fuel for my shenanigans. Let's put some of this stuff away. Blocks. Get this in there, and then in there. We'll get this back down on my bar. Uh, we can put. I don't think I'll need the tool anymore. We can put that in here. Okay, we've got lots and lots and lots of handheld ammo for my guns, but. Lots of oxygen, so we're good there. Get this back down here. Okay. Okay, let's... Okay, so we got everything we need. Let's go. Take off. Should still have quite a bit of fuel, yep. Nice. Okay. I guess I should eat right away. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll just, I got 10 of these. I'll just eat one of these for right now. Yeah, I know, I know. Emergency rations, waste of emergency rations. I had sausage on me, but I gotta go hunt for more sausage. I, I don't even know if critters spawn on these planets, so. Let's go check it out. So that's dirt. That's the closest one. Uh, it looks like it'll have water. So let's let's go place the oxygen and water. It's close to the base here. That uh, the basic fueling station. We're gonna make this because it looks like we're gonna be able to get resources from here and and create like a fueling station for CVs. So that's what that base back there is gonna be. Let's go check out these planets. Yeah, it looks like we're right on the, uh, we're right on the pole, Get over this way, let's level out a bit, come down, okay, so this 
is a desert planet. Um, wow. Almost barren by the look of it. Is there any trees at all? Is there any life? Huh. No resources. No critters? Oh, well, there's... There's some vegetation here. <laughs> uh, okay, well... Don't know if there's critters, so there's some cacti. Oh, it looks like the sun's just going down on us, so if we head west... We should keep the sun up. And we'll, um, we'll check this planet out a bit. So, I don't see any water. I don't see any critters, even. there is nothing. There's no resources. I mean, it shows that there is random asteroids potentially of all the different basic resources. So there is there's the potential for that. I guess I would have to stick around long enough for it to find some or for them to start crashing. check it out what I what I'm looking for is water at this point so let's let's look at the map and see if there is, is any water at all there doesn't appear to be so that could be problematic hmm so literally this is just a pile of dirt oh, I guess if you want to I mean, it's got oxygen, so there's that, but no water. Okay. <coughs> Meh. I, I mean, I guess potentially I'll put maybe a mining base on it if there's lots of asteroids that start dropping, but let's, let's go check out a different planet. Not really sure if I want to be a dirt farmer. No offense to, to farmers, but just, yeah. Just just because it's the name of the planet's dirt. It's, that has nothing to do with farmers, really. Because I, I want to be a farmer. I'm going to have crops, potentially. Okay, so let's check out this planet here. This one looks like it has water. So we'll head we'll head over to that one here. So is that like a temperate planet? The last one was a desert planet, but it wasn't like it wasn't like Omicron. Omicron at least had water and critters on it. 
dirt was literally just a, a, a pile of dirt with an atmosphere that's uh huh some people like the sun I guess you know it's not for everyone looks like it would be half decent for motorcycle riding <laughs> I don't know I don't know <clears throat> anyway we'll check out this next one here so what one is this one it says that we're heading towards aqua okay well that sounds wet that sounds very wet Frost planet from here. It's probably just overcast or something. Oh, it looks like water. Okay, okay, okay. So is it all just a whole bunch of islands? So is it? It's like a vast ocean with a bunch of islands, or is there continents, or? Lots of water. Okay, so lots of water. Um, some vegetation. Temperature outside shows it. Well, I think it's just because we're at such a high elevation. Yeah, as so I get down lower, the temperature is showing one, zero degrees, one degrees. So not bad. Bad. Four degrees, five degrees at water levels so far. Yeah, six degrees. So, huh. Okay, we've got some trees here. Yeah, this this is looking more promising. I mean, uh, oh, there's some skeletons. Maybe you know, maybe there are critters that spawn. I mean, it may be because the play field um, just created itself type thing, you know, like it's, it's, it's so new even the critters haven't spawned, I don't know. But this looks pretty promising, this looks really promising. Um, chase the sun a bit here. Yeah, there's some really, some really nice areas here. Some islands to to claim for for a base. This is definitely not out of the question. This is something I could definitely see myself building a like even a home on. A permanent home. Maybe a, uh, a mountaintop home with access to the beach below. Or, oh, you know what I should do? This planet would make a good motorcycle racetrack around one of these islands. Yeah. Okay, I like it. I like it so far. Doesn't appear to be much in the way of vegetation variety. I don't see any, like, any tropical sort of jungles or anything. So it's fairly barren also.
really barren. It's undiscovered, okay. So it's a... Uh, it's... I might be the first human being ever to see this. Although I thought, I think Stickus came down here, I'm not sure, so, so maybe not. But it looks like there's... I mean, there, it, the air is breathable, there's plant... Oh! Oh, 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 hello, hello, what did I just see over there? I saw a critter. Oh yeah, they've got nasties, that's a predator. That's, that's a green, oh yeah, that's one of those bug sort of centipede face in the, the butthole, I don't know. He needs to die though. Apparently with missiles, with guided missiles, I needed to kill him. <sighs> Next time I'll switch to my guns. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually I need to grab the meat. Did I even get XP for that? It was like an overkill. So like, you get nothing for that. That was ridiculous. Level out. Got some meat and some goodies. Uh, what I need to do is drop off this... Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look here. We need to... This is actually kind of a nice planet, uh, or uh, uh, island. It's a large island with some flat space, some little satellite islands. It's got a large open ocean area there near the where the pole goes. I like it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just uh, drop my. Let's do it. Let's just drop it here. Okay. Get the oxygen. I mean, I don't need oxygen on the planet, but I do when I'm out in space, so... When you're constantly consuming oxygen, you need to be able to replenish it somehow. Let's... Get that going. Just, um... It's not like I'll not need this. This will run forever here. So let's put this down. Okay, we'll just get that going forever. Okay, there we go. We've got our oxygen and water cooking um, on aqua. I'm liking it. I it, it looks nice, huh? Huh? What do you think? Could this be our new home? There was a yeah, okay, I, I won't missile the next dude. Put a freaking crater in my beach. Okay. Yeah. Let's scout this out a bit here. So a little bit of a... I mean, there's trees, so there's potential for wood. There looks like there's, um... Is that like a pixie, uh, stock? Or whatever it's called? Something like that? Okay, maybe some... Some other stuff over there. Maybe some fiber? Okay. So we've got potential for some... Some... Flora on this island. Okay. And also fauna by the uh, the critter that was there. So there's there's critter spawning on this island. Um, well, I like that. Yeah, there's another dude. Okay. 
So let's switch to guns. Oh, he's sad now. Well, we'll just... Jump out. And take his bits, too. There we go. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking these digs. There's some... Oh, this is the... This is the border cuts across this island. Oh, really? Really? Okay. Oh, I see it there. It's hard to see from the water, yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this island now. Uh, I've never actually built across a a border uh, I don't even know if that's if if I'm able to do that. I guess I could test that. That's that would add a that could add some shenanigans to the racetrack. To tell you the truth, oh my god. Huh. Okay. We'll think about this. We'll think about this. Yeah, that could add some shenanigans if you gotta cut through a border while you're racing. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Gives me ideas. And I like the shape of this island. It could be making a track that follows the the water coastal line could be make it really difficult um, potential for flying off the track into the water too which is really cool I like the idea of this I like the idea of this okay so let's go check out um, what are we at for time here okay I was just gonna give you a quick tour so so I'm, I'm thinking Aqua, that island on Aqua there is going to be... Oh, you know what? Do I need to... Do I need to set a marker there? It's a water generator. Well, I can... I guess I can. I can go like that. There we go. Okay. Just in case. Let's keep going. So there is some hostile creatures. Okay, so there's potential for there's potential for meat at least, which is good. Uh, I didn't see any meteorites fall, so that could be problematic if there's no resources. But um, there's resources in that asteroid field. Uh, that's dirt. So that was aqua. What else do we got here? We've got, where is it? That's dirt. Come on, aqua. Where's the other one? Oh, there we go. That is char. And wind hiding over and behind the, okay. So let's head over here. Let's sneak down. see wind there just trying to peek its head out it's like way over on the other side of the asteroid field kind of a bit of a depending on the angle that you're on it's winking at us okay so let's check out char We're still in, we're still closer to Aqua by the look of it, because we're getting further away from Aqua. Eventually, I guess, it'll switch over to Char distance. I don't know, we'll see, let's see. We're at four. 
So, doesn't seem to be growing very fast, does it? Wow, Char's way out there, I guess. We're still in, we're still clo closer to Aqua. Still. Okay, so these, these planets are some distance apart from each other then. So it's not like they're, um, it's not like they're super close. Okay, it seems to be getting bigger and... I don't know, when, when does it tell me... Oh, there, it just flipped over to Char. Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, so that was 8,000. So that's quite the distance between those. I guess that would be about 16,000 or so. Realistically, I mean, out in space, 16,000 kilometers is not that big of a deal. It's kind of a nice looking nebula, this, uh, this zone is the sectors in. The blue and purple swirls, yeah, I like it. Okay, so this is interesting. Kind of looks like there's water on it. Huh. Well, let's check it out. See that? That looks like water. Sulfuric water? Be like superheated steam? Oh, this is a creepy looking planet. Uh, so this is a lava planet. Interesting. Let's get a little lower. And. So. Temperature outside is, wow, super hot. We would not be able to jump out comfortably, I don't think, without, without getting some proper boosters going on the armor. So, it kind of looks like an alien planet, uh, but it's... It's not. It's lava, is it? Okay. It's super hot. Super hot. I mean, that looks like water. That looks like... Oh, look at the heat. 185. Oh, is that lava? Is that lava? Maybe that's why it was so hot. Oh wow, maybe there is no uh, water, maybe it's just like lava. So let's see, is this lava then? Oh so, yeah, it looks, it looks like it's super hot, look at that, oh wait, no, is it, no, yeah. Yeah, 180 degrees, cooking hot. Well, this this ain't gonna be home. I might set up a mining operation though. If if there's gonna be asteroids falling, um, I'll probably set up some sort of smelter of some sort for ore and an HV parked at it. Yeah. Anyhow, this planet's not for me. I'm not really into the um, try and survive the challenges of the environment type guy. You know, survive Mother Mother Nature. 
It does have a breathable ox um, atmosphere, mind you, so. So, no water on that one then, I guess? Huh. Well, there's one more. So let's go check it out. It's this one over here. Pretty sure this is wind over here. I know for a fact there's there's uh, minerals in that asteroid field there, so I'm not too worried about resources. It's just I don't think I was just I don't think I was there long enough for for any to fall. So who knows? Maybe next time go there, it might just all fall on my head all at once. So far, Aqua is the the one where I laid down my um, my gear. I'm thinking. So it's, we're still on char distance. Damn. It's really, oh, you know what? Did I set up? No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, we'll do that later. Just gotta get there. We're still on char. I wonder if it's about 8,000 in the middle, too. Yep. Pretty close. Just flipped to win, so... So this looks like a frost planet well frost planets not out of the question uh, frost planets have snow so there's oxygen and, and water at least um, and you're probably not gonna cook to death I mean there might be hot springs or something but uh, which would actually be pretty cool finding some hot springs on a frost planet. That you know, you know, that that could be pretty appealing too. Let's uh let's see if we can find some. So we'll come down into the since we're in the high plains, let's see, there's definitely trees. Oh yeah, there's water over there, a little, uh, so this is very much like Ninga's by the look of it. In the, um, in the default multiplayer scenario. Okay, Arctic forests, uh, so lots of water, so that's not going to be an issue, lots of wood, um, okay, stop pushing the wrong button. see any critters. I don't see any critters. Maybe they just take a while to spawn or something like on the... Because they, they were spawning on on Aqua. Uh, oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on here. What did I just see over here? Something blue. Yeah. Yeah, so similar critter. Uh, predator. Except a snowy blue version. Okay. 
So the sector has these, oh yeah, I see more of them, so it's like an arachnid sector or something, I guess. Well, these exist on lots of planets, so, well, you know. They, oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot when you jump in and out of your vehicle, or I think even when you change uh, play fields, it resets your teeth. <laughs> back to your whatever's on your first bar uh well okay well we cratered him <laughs> i'll take his meat oh it's all colorful yummy yum one oh, i guess i should do something with the other stuff too really quick let me jump back in here uh, great thing about these vehicles is you can actually put these mobile constructors on them. And uh, they can make salami on the fly. Actually, I'm going to eat some of this right now. Get this cooking. Uh, okay, that's good. I should probably put that in the fridge. Let's see other stuff is done. So that's, that's not bad. I'm not going to starve, at least. That's good to know. Uh, let's switch to my Gatlings here. Kill this guy. Oh, he's sad, too. He's sad. Looks like Prometheum. Yeah. There's a little Prometheum um, crystals. That's interesting. Promethium crystals. So there is some resources that you can get out and, and um, harvest. So that's that's excellent. Okay, okay. This this planet is definitely viable. I, look at it, it's only ten degrees. It's ten degrees above right now. Wow. Uh, oh yeah, and breathable atmosphere okay you know what you know what this might this might be a good a good uh, you know winter vacation getaway planet I'm liking it we're at the hot springs we're at the hot springs that's why it's so warm look at that we've got hot springs I could, I could build a building right here and make a hot tub out of this. Wow. Very cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. So, yeah. Uh, that's the four planets in this sector. Um, I, I'm definitely... I'm definitely gigging this one and Aqua, and I'm going to have to decide which one I want to make a my residence at. It, it, I'm thinking that's what I want to do on one of these planets, is make a home residence. There's no there's no alien president, presence, so, you know, it should be really safe. And it's PvE, so players can't come and screw with it, so, yeah. I mean, we could potentially be looking at the uh, at the making at the start of 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 an empire. You never know. Well, guys, I'm gonna leave it at this episode here, um, or at this. I'm gonna leave this episode here, and. Where the next episode, I'm I'm gonna have chosen a planet and have uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to level 20. I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff off camera and and, and hopefully spawn some meteorites, getting get them raining down on my head, um, and try and figure out which planet is gonna be the best one out of Aqua or, or this one to actually set up my initial base and get that going um so yeah until then uh we'll see you guys later if you like this video like and subscribe and uh next episode we'll get an actual home 
going. A real home. A real virtual home. Yay! See you guys later.